Weeks after the NSAS protest took a violent turn, angry protesters showed up at the sitting of the Judicial Panel of Inquiry on the alleged Lekki Gate killings. Plus TV Africa's Marichinda reports that the panel has begun viewing of the CCTV footage of the alleged violence. It is the Lagos Judicial Panel of Inquiry into the Lekki NSAS protest shootings of October 20th, 2020. This is the fifth seating of the panel. A hard drive of the CCTV footage of the alleged murder of unarmed protesters is provided by the LCC. With the witnesses ready to testify and a cross-session of banters between the councils of the Lagos State Government and the NSAS protesters, viewing of the footage begins in earnest. The footage is scrutinized from 12 midnight of October 20th. On the sidelines, outside the panel seating, a group of NSAS protesters' youths emerge. The agitation needs to remind the panel of the painful murder of a 20-year-old journalist, Belumi Onifadi, who was allegedly shot dead at a police station while reporting the NSAS protest. We are here in our few numbers. Because we understand this is a court, that is to show that we are responsible and we know what we are doing. The next time we will be storming this place, we will come in. The police are here. We know they are here as spies, not to protect Nigerian citizens. What they are interested in is to keep everyone silent. And we will not, we will not be kept short any longer. And of the greatest Nigerian citizens. We are giving them ultimatum. Oh yes. As far as it is, they are taking us for granted enough. Yes. And we are ready to let this government realize that as far as it is concerned, this country belongs to the youth. Yes. The spirit of the youth is already awoken. Away from the alleged murder, the protesters express a lack of confidence in the panel of inquiry. They are calling for its dissolution. Pelumi only father was shot dead. In no other place, not in his bedroom, not in the toilet, but in police custody. We put his blood on nobody else but Governor Babaji oh, yes. Desawalu, who rode out ammo tanks, who rode out policemen as on 28th, and was shooting, they were killing 28th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th. Only Father Palumi was shot dead in police custody on the 26th of October. I'm back in the tribunal. After viewing four hours of the timeline of events of Tuesday, October 20th, viewing is paused at about 4.33 a.m. as both parties disagree on what sessions of the footage should be viewed. While the Council for the Lagos State Government insists on viewing the relevant footage between 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., the prosecuting council to the maimed protesters insists on viewing the timeline of the entire footage. NSAS protester, it is a nebulous entity, with due respect. But we have individuals who subscribe to what NSAS can. They can stand up and then have a lawyer represent them. I'm only saying that we should not undertake the significance of any moment of 2010, 2020. And the judge rules. I would um, implore counsel to ensure that the footage is given to Mr. Ogulano as soon as possible. Thanks. Matter stands adjourned to 10th of November. It is exactly 17 nights after the alleged lucky shootings that happened at the Stolgate area. Now, while the panel of inquiry rejoins for a later day, one thing that would always be in the minds of road users of the Stolgate is the night of October the 20th, 2020. From the Lekki Target area of Lagos, Nigeria, Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa. Thank you.